watch where you go. Where's my phone? My phone. Where is my phone? Also, was actually a story that um, you know came as a brief from uh, you know an advertising agency uh, who wanted to do a film that captures age 15 to 45, you know, um, in Nigeria. And I think they got the brief from you know a multinational company, you know. Uh, a telecom company. They're looking to do a film that can have most of their product placed, you know, and still, you know, come out with good entertainment value. We submitted our story. Fortunately, we were selected, you know, among the 10 uh, people who actually pitched for the, uh, for the job. And um, when it was time to to uh, progress, they, we gave them a budget and I think they, they said they weren't looking for something of that standard they were just looking for. So uh, for like a year, I kept the script to myself because um, since they weren't interested, I kept it. And um, when it was time, after the old success of um, figurine, I said, okay, let me do something that is a bit uh, light, bright, you know, in terms of um, genre. And um, Phone Swap is a comedy drama, so we decided to give it a shot. Well, I don't know, I, I find Nigerians are very predisposed to humor. That's, that's my observation, you know. And uh, you can find two Nigerian people arguing on the street, I'm gonna slap you, you're an idiot, get out of the way. Next minute, somebody makes a joke, everybody's laughing. Comedy is a genre that requires talent. You know, you apart from your own ability as a director, you also need fantastic actors who can actually, you know, pull it off. And when this script came, I was looking for those talents that will not have to stress themselves, those talents that, you know, naturally, you know, can do justice or would do justice to the role. Uh, which was what led me to the, the, the caliber of actors that we used in this film. Um, you know, starting from Unse, whom, you know, I met, you know, even outside of Nigeria. And um, when I met her, I didn't even know she was an actress until she was introduced. I got auditioned under the most peculiar circumstances. I had met um, Kunle Falayan, the director in the Berlin Film Festival, and um, it was on the social, you know, on the, we're drinking, and he said, um, hmm, are you new? I'm like, yes. That's okay, I heard about you, but, and that was it. So we just literally just um, had fun and. Uh, Alex, I'd like to travel for a few days. No, 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 please. I mean, th this is our busiest period. I need and, uh, to be to we're just having a general conversation and while chatting, and all I was that? seeing in her was or this character in this film, village. you know, it's which was why I picked it to her and I asked if it's something she'll be interested in being part of. The next time I met him was when I went for a weekend in Ghana and I was laughing. <laughs> And he goes, that's the laughter that I need. And I'm like, what are you on about? He goes, in his words, you go fit carry dreadlocks. You go fit carry dada rather. I'm like, uh, well, why not? If it's a character, why, why can't I? And he uh, said, OK, make with the look. That's all he said. Oh, Sorry. thank you. Hey. Mm. Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm expecting a very important call. Eh? My market is from Italy. Oni, when are you coming home? Your food is getting cold. Hey. 
Tony. Asa. You're married? Um, I, I didn't say I wasn't married. I think Asa falls in that category <laughs> of actors, uh, you know. That uh, but don't worry. Different genre, Asa. genre of film. Asa, be mature. Uh, it is you I, I know. really had a nice time working huh? with someone like that. And when I was looking for the other um, male, you know, um, actor to play alongside her, a lot of names came to mind. We actually spoke to quite a number of actors. And um, when um, Wiley would just surfaced and um, he was auditioned and um, uh, reluctantly I, I decided to, to, to have Wiley. But sincerely, uh, I don't think I've ever worked with any actor who is as disciplined as, as Wiley Ujo. Yes, Mommy Kilefe. Shebi was my bad, yes, already. I have made it clear you are never to call me on my business phone. You don't pick up the other one and you don't visit. Kilefe. Don't you roll your eyes at me. You know I don't like it. I'm not rolling my eyes. He's trained, he's been he's done this for over 20 years. He's done stage, he's done all of that, and he, he did justice to this film. He, he paid a lot of attention to his roles. Good morning. The character was um, just a very serious character. He didn't laugh a lot. In fact, he didn't laugh till the end of the movie. You know, because that's the, how the director wanted it. You know, he wanted him to be um, very, um, very serious. What you know. to yeah, in a way, he's kind of mean. You know, like a businessman, no jokes, no time for. Business. You know, very, very different from from me, from Wale Ujo. contacted um, Lydia Fossin in Accra. Uh, the original script didn't tag the character as, um, you know, uh, a Ghanaian, but because of the kind of flavor that element will bring to the film, you know, I decided to create that, I mean, to adapt that character to be from, to, to have come from, from Ghana. Who is this and what are you doing with my boyfriend? I, I... Shut up and put him on! Akin is not here right now. Kwasi, I said if I count to zero and you don't put him on. When I, when I read um, the script and I saw how crazy the character was, I was a bit frightened because it was completely taking me out of my comfort zone. But it's a really big difference from the kind of crazy I am, I am used to. Because what motivates me to go and meet Alex? It's the first phone call that I hear a woman's voice and I get upset yeah. and Alex is my informant so that's why I go and meet Alex and then I make the phone call with Alex there. Lydia Fossin did justice to her role. It was, it was quite a great experience working with her. Of course because of my own style and ideology I like to blend uh, the old school and the new school and, and all of that which was why we decided to get um, um, originally it was um, Sam Loco, may so rest in peace, you know, one of our fathers, Sam Loco, who was or originally casted to play um, uh, Nse's father. But um, like a week or two to uh, the, the shoot, you know, the man passed on, which was why we dedicated the film to, you know, to, to him. Um, I mean, may so really rest in peace. And, you know, we looked around and, um, Ooh, the other person who came to mind was um, um, Chief Zebudaya, you know, Chika Opala. Mary, Jesus, he will. Hey, get a Mary, my chazara. What a time of what I'm working. Come to you and now, boy, where? Oh, God, I am. Ada Amen has done a lot of Nollywood film, you know, but I mean, she's, she's very good at what she does. She has done a lot of comedy. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Come in And um, when I read the script, it was a picture that also came to mind, and uh, we contacted her. Uh... 
akbo and vegetable soup with goat lungs and okboroko. Excuse me, ma. Yes, ma. Please, how many hours to Nam Diaziki were we worry? A worry? Yes. This flight is for Abuja. It was surprised a lot of people that we didn't shoot that in, in, in the plane. We, we actually built the set. From the beginning, you know, uh, thank, thank God for the likes of Padnebo, you know, and Ian Edward and, you know, Alfred, you know, um, who were the, you know, the head of, you know, uh, crew. Uh, Ian Edward and Alfred worked on, you know, the camera and the photography of this film. Filmmaking is not as easy as we want to make it look. It is, it's more than a full-time job. It's, it's, it's life. It, it's, it's a way of life. So it, it, um, it did teach me that if all, it's like a buddy, let me, let, me, let me put it this way, it's like a buddy. If the head and the neck do not go in sync, nothing can work. So every single department has got to be, has got to have their A game on. And then with that, you can have like a good, you can have a finished product. So it also taught me to learn to respect even the grips because without them, a lot of things can happen. Even the guy, the runners, you, nothing happens without those people. So I, I learned to appreciate them a lot more after that movie. From the beginning, during pre-production, we, we, we collectively agreed that, look, we're not gonna go shoot on a plane. We have to build it. You know, and we started pulling the resources together. And thank God for IRS Airline, you know, because um, IRS Airline really supported us. Look, 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 I have an important appointment in Abuja. This has been a huge mistake. Oh, but your ticket is for this flight. Now look, if you will just let me go, I will pay for any inconvenience. Terrorist! Terrorist! Check his pants. Not There's a, a bomb there. Not terrorist! Terrorist! Not terrorist! Up, not terrorist! Terrorist! terrorist. Actually, the actual plain interior was wonderfully crafted by Pat Nebel. So it was actually set in a studio, you know. I think this same studio that we're in now, you know. So, but it, it looked like a, very much like a plain interior. So that was down to Pat Nebel's uh, um, set design, which was fantastic. We built the whole set, you know, Pat Nebel, <laughs> you know, nailed all of that. Rule number two, just make sure that you understand the instructions. We got the extras and we filmed it in a studio. That was, that was how we made it happen. Some great scenes that I really enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the scenes that I had with Inse over the phone. Uh, I enjoyed the scenes with Auntie Joke, my mum, even though we never actually connected. And I enjoyed the scenes with Chika, with Chika Okpala. And of course, I enjoyed the scenes with Ada and being beaten up by Chris in the scene, the fight scene. That was quite hard because that was a real fight. We were actually fighting. The guy actually lifted me up off the floor and spun me around like a rag doll. And Kule was there just going, yes, yeah, okay, beat up while he find out. <laughs> you know, I said, Kule, caught now, caught now, ah, yeah. I said, me, oh, and you, me, oh, my back, go, sir. And he dropped me on the floor. So all of that was real. Trust me, I had bruises and everything, but it was worth it because, you know, it was a great film and it was a great, I'm very honored to have been in that film. Do I, every scene was challenging because you, you had to, you had to be Mary. There was, there was no point where, um, there was no point where Kunle would allow you to be found wanting. And then it got really hard after, I'd, there was a scene where I was meant to be on the bike and I fell off the bike because the guy who was meant to ride the bike, they kept asking him, do you know how to ride? He kept, yeah, 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 yeah. And then when he just started the bike and I fell off. And I had, <laughs> I had the cinematographer asking, where Mary? <laughs> I was on the ground. 
And so my back was hurting, I had to be laid down. And a day after that, I fell off and dislocated my arm. And I still had to work. So that was very tough. And I, uh, it was all an experience. I loved it. It's okay if you, if you say so. You're, you're, you're just friends, right? I just... But you must be very special for Aki to call me and ask me to let you stay the night. Well, it's just that... I understand. Believe me, he's my son. And he can be very hard at times. But deep down, he's a loving man. Whichever way you want to look at it, a good film will always sell itself. Yes, we, we, have, we have a lot of challenges with distribution in this country, but I don't make my film just for this country. Yes, this country is my primary market, but I always believe that, look, that there will be, you can still make some sort of revenue from, you know, outside of this country, especially when the film is good and it has entertainment value and universal story that, you know, people can relate to. And, um, you know, that has always been my style and is always, is always going to be my style. The story first, how to execute it second, and um, recouping it will definitely figure out its way. And, you know, on the set, yes, we worked a lot and really kudos to um, all the crew, you know, that took part in, in, in this filming, you know, from the DP to, you know, and also the Badagri community. Uh, we got a lot of, um, you know, good um, reception from the people in Badagri uh, and the hotel, the uh, Lagos State Resort, you know, hotel where we shot some and stayed, you know, and shot some of these scenes. We also got a lot of support, you know, from there as well. Um, and I remember that the we, at some point, you know, we ran out of funds and we broke shoots. Then we went back to location which was when we shot the plane interior and that falls on my birthday and we had a swell time you know on that day and you know everybody party you know right after and um, I'm just looking forward to working with everybody again. <laughs> Draw your plan, the list of the places you've got to go. But fate has a plan for everyone, everyone. Fate has a plan for everyone. Sometimes you think all is locked down, but you never know what's coming next. Fate has a plan for everyone, fate has a plan for everyone. You might think all is lost. You are so right, but you were so wrong. Fate has a plan for everyone. Everyone, fate has a plan for everyone.